wetlands are the most productive ecosystem known. Per square foot, they have the most ecological and biological productivity. They help purify the water, they stop storm surges, their fish nurseries. Since European settlement, New York City has lost about 85% of its tidal wetlands and about 99% of its freshwater wetlands. And all that ecological production has been lost. So now we attempt in a small scale to try and put some of that back. The whole premise of what DEP does in, in restoration is all about ecological diversity. We restore as many different plant communities as possible. It's tidal wetlands, freshwater wetlands, maritime grasslands, maritime forests, and doing so with native plants that were once here pre-European settlement. We try to put them back as communities. They're not individual plants. It's all the plants that would have been growing together at that time. No patch is too small, especially in a place like New York City. Some of the more prominent sites are Penn and Fountain landfills, Brookfield landfill on Staten Island, Alley Creek wetlands, Paddocket Basin that has an ecology park which highlights many of the plant communities that exist in New York City alongside a natural area park. Those projects totaled about 500 acres and several hundred million dollars worth of restoration over the last 10 years. So all these mini restorations in itself aren't a wastewater treatment plant or a treatment for drinking water, but in, in aggregate, when you put them all together, they actually add up to a sizable benefit to the ecosystem and improving water quality.